So the last thing we need to do to this uh, template before we can use it to create our pages is to set these cells and format them so that they have the correct fonts and styles and colors. Uh, to, again, to save some time in, uh, when we start doing the actual pages. So I'm going to come here and what I'm going to do is make sure that again, the cursor here, you can see on the left hand side, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more just so you can see. We want to make sure that it's left here and this is to to the top actually let's go for center this time there we go and i'm going to drag this up because what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to use the space here as a title for every page that we have here and we're going to create a new css style so we're going to right click um css styles new and we're going to call this uh page title okay very simply press okay and we're going to decide on the styles that we want for this page title. So it'll be a good idea to have this as a larger size. So I'm going to go for maybe 14 or 16. Let's go for 16. Uh, keep it simple. I'm going to go for Arial. Um, we're going to go for Bold. And the color, I reckon, using this logo as a means to um, give me inspiration here. They've got black text and red text so you could either have red text here and black text down here or vice versa i'm gonna have red at the top and then black at the bottom um yeah so red at the top uh color there it is and we could just simply just go and either select it from here or from here it makes no difference at all they look the same to me anyway so i'm going to just click on that one and press apply uh, and make sure that I'm happy with this. So yeah, Arial size 16, that's bold, and that's a color. So we press OK, and that should be fine. Now, if we want to test it, hopefully, before we do anything at all, we have to go to CSS down here, make sure the rule is applied, so we can go down here and we should see page title. There it is. And now if we type it in, welcome to the... I'm going to stop there, and basically use that as a means to remind me myself when i make the t uh, the other pages that i need to finish the sentence off so welcome to the and then obviously the home page will say home page uh, events page will say event page and so on and so forth now you can see that we can afford to make this a little bit uh, tighter so we can drag this up a little bit bring it up there we go and we're going to have the same kind of uh, uh, formatting here in the center as well so we're going to go down here and I, as, again you can see how the, the cursor is in the wrong place, so we're going to go down to left. And this one I am going to say top and left because I want the text to start here. And we're going to keep it simple. So right click uh, CSS styles new. Uh, we're going to call this maybe main body. So we know that's for the main text. Press OK. And again, we're going to go for Arial. Uh, we're going to, um, this time I'm going to go for size 12 and we're going to keep this normal and we're going to use black so turn a simple black or we can just drag this across if you are paranoid and use the exact same color from here apply and press ok and that's basically it but again we need to go to css make sure we go here and we choose main body and that's basically it now I've got that set up, I've got this cell set up, but this cell here hasn't been, so we do the same thing. So, same thing, uh, make sure we go to left and top, but because I've already created that CSS style, I can just merely, uh, simply apply it here. So, go to here, target its rule, go down, find main body, and it follows the same style. So, now I have formatted these three cells, and the title is ready for me to use when I decide to create the pages. And all I have to do now is make sure I save it, and that's it.